Hello, welcome back. It's time for another video tutorial in making a Pokemon style game in AGS. <clears throat> so, let's get to the nuts and bolts of Pokemon, or your creatures in your case. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to create a new script. New script. And this is going to be like a pool uh, for all of your creatures' stats uh, that we're going to draw from. Uh, so it's getting its own script because it's going to be a very big file, basically. I'm just going to call this Pokedex, just because why not? It's going to it's going to hold all of our creatures. So um, let's load up the script. So we're going to have a brand new empty script. So a struct. We're going to use structs. Uh, we're going to use them for our, our um, quest system as well. Um, so the best way to describe it is from the manual, I suppose. So this allows you to group together related variables in order to make your script more structured and readable. For example, suppose that uh, um, suppose that uh, that wanted to store some information on weapons that a player could carry. So. Yeah, so like its damage, its price, its name, various things like that. So the struct name is going to be Pokemon, okay? And then the ar the arrays inside it, I'm just going to call it Creature. Okay, then we're going to give it a value. So 150 because there's 151 Pokemon in the game. Um. So then we're going to do we're going to do a function, and we're just going to do everything in game start. Game start is a built-in function that initializes, and everything that's inside game start gets initialized when the game loads up. So we're going to set all of our creature stats when the game when the game starts up. So um, we'll do an export because we need to export creature so let's start with um, our, our array of stats so creature zero dot number so that's going to be the the number that the creature appears in our pokedex uh, item that the player has which will be, which will eventually be a a, a, P, a bit of UI. Then we're going to go with creature zero dot um, name equals, and we're going to leave that blank. Creature zero dot level, and by default, it's going to be one. Creature dot um, HP, which will be its health. Um, <coughs> I do have th all of their attributes here, so then we'll do creature dot attack. That's its attack value. We'll set that to zero. Creature zero dot defense equals zero creature zero dot what's the next attribute speed speed equals zero creature zero dot special which is it's like special attacks um, then we then we need to do uh, it. We're going to list their powers. Dot. Um, so power one, and that's going to be a string. Creature zero dot power two equals a, is a string. We're leaving these blank for now. Zero dot power. Three and I'm, I'm I think some of them have up to four powers, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with three for now. 
Um, there's something else I feel like I need to do here. But I'm... Name... Name, level, HP, attack, defense, speed, special. There's definitely another attribute that I, f I feel like I'm missing. But anyway, so let's copy this and we'll paste it again. So let's, let's import the details for our first creature. So I'm going to set all these to 1 because this is creature 1. Uh, Bulbasaur is the first in the Pokedex. Bulbasaur. Um, level 1. I think he has 45 hit points. Um, what's his attack? 49, 49. 49, 49. What's his speed? I think he's quite slow. Speed is 45. 45. Special is 60. And I'll... I think... I could put the powers in. I'm not... 100% sure. Um, I don't think it lists their powers here, really. Um, don't think it has height and weight. That would be a good one to add. So creature zero uh, height how the hell do you spell height? that is ridiculous it's been a very very long day uh, height equals zero creature I've been it's been a hard a hard shift uh, offshore weight. <coughs> so that's some extra attributes there that we need to that we need to put in. I mean you don't need to do height and weight, it's just it's just something that for some reason they thought it was an important detail uh to to have. Uh, th I think it might be better if they're uh, no they're gonna be they're gonna be uh they're going to be integers. So 15. Ah, oh, you know what? I might just make them strings. Because then. No. No. No, no. Um, I'm going to make them a float. May as well. We'll do it properly. So 0. 0.0. .0. Yes, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them as a uh, as floats. We'll do it properly. So, I'm oh, sorry about the umming, umming and ring there. I just <coughs> I wasn't quite sure what I was doing there. So we'll have to put in their their weights then, I guess. So twelve point two for the weight. 12.2 what's the height 2 2.4 I'm just going to round it a bit um, I don't think the powers are listed here are they um, yeah I'll probably have to go and find a big list of a big list of the um, what powers these things have because I'll be a 
think that's information there, isn't it? Game locations. You know, I'm not seeing anything about uh... Oh there we go. So they've got tackle and growl. So we can put in tackle. Tackle growl. Okay. So that's Bulbasaur done. Um so as you can see it's it's gonna be quite a time consuming task. Uh, putting all of these in, but I suppose that's kind of half the fun, I guess. Um, so we need to go into the header now because we need to um, kind of export all this out, just like we how we export our custom functions out so we can use them in in other scripts. We have to do the same with the struct. So um, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go um, struct. And it's uh, Pokemon. That was the name, wasn't it? That's the name of the struct, yeah. Okay. So now we need to take a copy of all of this and basically give them, you know, the their variable type essentially. So let's get rid of all of the values, so we just have the names. Okay. I'm sure that I feel like I'm missing an attribute. Okay. So this is an int, as it's because it's a it's a whole number. The name is a string with a capital S, so we'll use the pointer variable for that. Uh, int. This is a float. I don't often, I don't really use a lot of floats generally, but we are using it here. So a float is a number that has a decimal, a decimal point in it. HP. That's an int. 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 Speed. Int. So, um, I better concentrate actually while I'm doing this. This is a string. This is a string. So when we do our combat system, it will basically We'll basically have a system where if power one is tackle, then we're gonna be it's gonna be using uh it's gonna be using that power uh for its main attack. And tackle will have a a, a, a number of functions that make it work. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to do import And it's literally just that. So we'll copy that and paste that in there. So, say for instance, if you at some point want to increase the number of uh, arrays uh, of objects in your struct, and you you're going to have to increase this number, but you have to remember to also increase that. Otherwise, you'll you'll get some errors. So the moment of truth. Let's hit the old play button. Hold on a moment. Yeah, I've uh, messed up there. Don't need that. That comma. So there we go. So it's all running fine. But we're not we're not getting any compile issues. So essentially, that's that's how we're going to um, create our pool of creatures that we can draw from when we randomly find them in battle. And uh, obviously, these are all at level one. So these are all all their base stats are 
you know, or, or, or like their level one base stat, but we'll use a formula. So, say for instance, you could be wandering around in tall grass, for instance, and come across a level four Bulbasaur. So we'll use a formula that kind of um, increases all of these stats and uh, updates it all uh, when uh, you know as and when it's needed. Um, so go ahead and uh, start creating all your creatures. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a... Um, I'm missing... I'm sure I'm missing one uh, an attribute. Um, I think this one... This would be like two. This would be your... Um, IV saw. And then he would have all of his attributes. Uh, if I if I think of what I'm missing, and I'm sure I am, I, I'll I'll explain it in the next video. But uh, that's a good start. Uh, we have a custom script uh, with a struct in there that's going to house all of our details for every creature that we have in our game. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll carry on in the next video.